When I say the word girl, what are a few images that pop into your head? Let's keep this PG. You might think of dresses, makeup, and especially the most girly color of all, pink. Go into a store and anything marketed for girls is usually painted in a coat of bright, hot pink. In the West, ever since we were kids, two colors meant two things. Blue is for boys. Pink is for girls. Even those dumb gender reveal parties announced the unborn baby's sex in a display of blue or pink. But what if I told you these colors actually used to mean the opposite? That's right, a century ago, pink could be the color for boys, and blue could be the color for girls. How could this be? Well, the concept of these colors meaning boy and girl is newer than you might think. The colors of genders begins with baby fashion. The clothing a baby receives is the first trait that a newborn really has, and the rise of pink and blue as colors for boys and girls begins with how parents dress their newborns. So when did this pink and blue concept even begin? 16th, 17th, 18th century? How about the 1950s? For most of human history, gender color for boys and girls wasn't even a concept. There are other ways to separate gender, like dress or societal role. Babies, unsurprisingly, don't have societal roles. They're just babies. As Joe B. Paletti says in her book, Blue and Pink, telling the boys and girls in America, people at the time just saw them as babies. The idea of associating them with a sex may have been uncomfortable, at least until they started looking like their gender. There usually wasn't even gender clothing for children before age seven. The dress was unisex, which is why we see so many pictures of baby FDR dressed like a girl. Gender colors follow the same story. Pink and blue began as just baby colors. Unisex, like the 19th century dress FDR had to wear. From the Victorian age to the 1950s, if something was baby related, it was usually colored in pink and blue, regardless of gender. Pink could be for a boy, blue for a girl, and vice versa. The largest deciding factor for what color a baby wore was hair and eye color. Pink for brunettes, or blue for blondes. So why these two colors? Why pink and blue? What led to these two colors becoming the default baby colors? We associate colors with a certain trait, or emotion. The fury of red, the darkness of black, purity of white. Blue is calming and tranquil. Pink, however, what does pink mean? Pink wasn't even defined as a color until the 17th century. And ever since then, it's been associated with two seemingly conflicting ideas. At first, it meant seduction and romance, but slowly over centuries, it somehow became associated with innocence as well, like childhood innocence. We see it used in the portrait of Sarah Moulton. There was at least a common idea that pink meant youthfulness. Pink and blue became associated as youthful colors. In the Victorian age, it became popular to dress all babies in pure white. Pink and blue came from the decorations used to spruce up the white uniformity. Both colors varied depending on the child's appearance, regardless of gender. Which we can see in this painting of Queen Victoria, with a newborn Prince Albert in pink ribbons. The debate over which colors meant which gender only existed in small instances over decades. It was certainly no national debacle. It was merely limited to the articles of mommy magazines and catalogs arguing for the most suitable color for newborn boys or girls. Opinions on the matter were mixed. Even by the 1910s, there was no universal consensus. And for a time, the majority consensus was actually the opposite. Pink was for boys. Blue was for girls. The logic stems back to the traits we already associated with colors. Blue is calming, peaceful, and gentle. It only made sense that this was the color for women, who were seen as docile. Pink was more vivid, to show a boy's boldness. To the British, pink was seen as a light red, 
preparing a boy to eventually don the red military uniform of the Empire. So, what shifted pink as a distinctly girl color and blue as a boy color? The answer is muddled. There was no significant time across the world that blue and pink became distinctly separated. But, for the sake of time, let's just discuss the United States. In the US, the answer lies in capitalism, mass markets, and World War II. After the war, the culture of the military and dark colors became associated as masculine. With the opposite effect, brighter colors were seen as dainty and feminine. Blue was the darker of the two baby colors. Pink slowly became a female color as a result, a gradual cultural shift. It became a perpetual cycle in a way. Darker colors were more masculine, so pink and blue were separated over that. Light pink for girls, blue for boys. Over time, a boy wearing pink clothing was seen as unmanly, and the association stuck. The mass market of 1950s America then kind of took off with that. With new medical technology, parents could know the sex of their baby before birth. This encouraged them to buy clothing before its birth. It became financially profitable for companies to make exclusive colors for boys and girls, in blue and pink respectively. And that's the story of blue and pink, two colors we think of as opposites, which easily could have switched places had things gone different. There isn't some natural reason why we associate these colors with boys and girls. At the end of the day, it's simply the product of post-war, mass-marketed purchases for baby clothing. So next time you go to one of those annoying gender reveal parties, just remember, those colors easily could have meant the opposite. Like this video and subscribe if you have not done so. This is Cody of Knowledge Hub.